Hey, yo, what up, y'all? Tight shirt, Ted Warfield, back in the building for another video. I hope you're having a fantastic day because I am. Let's talk about today, Sony A7 IV. Long-term talk. I've had this for a few months. I had it early. I was on a pre-release list, and I actually bought my own. And I want to give you guys and gals my honest thoughts after using it for a little while. So today, we're just going to have a conversation. But I did want to give a special shout-out to Gear Focus for sponsoring this video today. So let me tell you about them real quick. If you are needing to sell any of your like creative gear, so tablets, cameras, microphones, all of that stuff, go to gearfocus.com. It is a whole little world of people selling the things that we love to buy as creatives, photographers, filmmakers, all of that stuff. And it's not auction based, it's the lowest selling fees you can get out there, but it's a great place to list your gear for sale and also buy used gear so to get great deals on gear also. So if you have stuff that you need to sell or stuff that you wanna buy, check out gearfocus.com. Now let's get into the meat potatoes. I wanna talk long term with the Sony A7 IV. Now when I say long term, I had this for about a month and a half before it came out. And then I bought my own and I've had this one for about a month and a half. So about three, a little over three months total with this thing. So I feel like I could confidently talk about this camera. And also I have a bunch of other cameras to kind of reference to. Like I'm using the Sony a7S 3 now. I got a ZV-1, a ZV-E10. I still got my a7 III too. So I got a lot of Sony experience under my belt. This camera has caused quite the amount of controversy. There's been so much hate about this camera. Hey, real quick, this is Editor Terry. Let me just say this. I don't really care what camera you buy. I honestly just think the A7 IV is the best value out there. It ain't perfect, it's missing some stuff. Sony could have did X, Y, Z better. Look, we gotta deal with what we gotta deal with. If this is not for you, then it's just not for you. Don't sit here hating on other people that want to buy it or have bought it. If it's not for you, don't freaking buy it. With that being said, it is the camera that I pick up when I'm leaving out the house because it is such a utilitarian camera. Like the A7S 3 is great, but it's video focus. FX3 is great. All these other cameras are great, but the one I'm picking up if I gotta leave the house to take one camera is the A7 IV. Back to the video. So what are the things that people hate about this camera? Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the biggest one. The 4K60 crop. Now, I'm not a fan of the 4K60 crop. I've learned to work around it because, again, no camera is perfect. But, yeah, the 4K60 crop is there. Sometimes it's beneficial because you get more reach out of your lenses. But there are many times where I like, man, why do I got to go with this crop just to get in the 4K60? Plus, once you throw active on top of that, like, you at almost like a two times crop. I mean, it's not that heavy. But you get what I'm trying to say. I don't like it. It's one of those things I've learned to work around it. But it is one of those issues I wish wasn't there. So Sony could have done something like a low quality mode, like a 4K 60 full frame line skipped 8 bit mode, you know, something to kind of meet us halfway, but it is what it is. If 4K 60 is a freaking deal breaker for you, then just don't buy the camera. But the issue is there. Let's talk about the second thing overheating. Fortunately, Terry Warfield has not come into any situation where the A7 IV has overheated. I use it to create videos and short B roll clips. I have done it for like talking head stuff like this, and I've never had any overheating problems. That's not to say that other people are not having overheating problems because obviously they are but i haven't had any overheating so i can't speak too much of that my kids are walking in the door so sorry if y'all hear them but i understand for some people how it could be an issue the next thing that a lot of people don't like is the rolling shutter now the a7 III had rolling shutter a lot of cameras have rolling shutter i understand that sony could have used like a lower megapixel sensor so it wouldn't have to down sample as much but it is what it is 4k 24 4K30 do have rolling shutter. Again, I've learned to work around it when I use this camera, but the issue is there. If you don't want to deal with it, then just don't deal with it. There are people who are kind of complaining that the eye autofocus is not working correctly. Again, I haven't had issues with those, but that is something that Sony could fix with the update. The only other qualm I really have is I wish the, the rear display was higher resolution. I wish the EVF was higher resolution like the A7S 3 And then lastly, I would like to have maybe a few extra frames per second when it comes to burst. But aside from those things, like, I think the Sony a7 IV is probably the best camera that money can buy right now. 2500 bucks gets you a whole lot of camera. It is not perfect. It does not excel at any one particular thing. But what it does do is give you a huge blend of all of the good things that all of Sony's cameras have in one package and that's what i really love about it so like in my opinion you can't get a more complete camera there are cameras like the panasonic s5 which is a great camera but it lacks autofocus plus it lacks the e-mount selection you got the canon r6 which is a formidable competitor but again i would rather have the a7 IV because it does have a bunch of advantages over the r6 
plus again the e-mount ecosystem so i would prefer to have the a7 IV over both of those for 2500 bucks you are literally getting a fantastic camera it's got a bomb sensor in it 33 megapixels it's great in freaking low light performance the autofocus is fantastic i love the mode dial switch which i've made that no secret the video is still great like a lot of people are complaining about the video but let me remind you some of the greatest movies and films and stuff like that were not filmed with perfect cameras just because this camera does have flaws doesn't mean it's not capable of creating absolute fire content what's more important is that you know how to operate it and work around its flaws because every camera has flaws and in the a7-4's case i don't think that there's a lot of flaws that you need to learn how to work around there's those few we just talked about but all in all i think this is a fantastic camera the flip out screen the photo quality the video quality the autofocus the battery life is great the low light performance is great you got 10-bit 422 in a bunch of modes you got all of these fantastic smart features like the focus map and focus breathing compensation all that stuff is built into it advanced connectivity that none of the other sony cameras have and the advanced flash system that a lot of people don't talk about for people who do like portrait work and flash photography yo this is one of the best cameras you can get out there because of all the improvements so i guess what i'm trying to say is i don't understand all the hate on this camera it's not perfect, obviously, but no freaking camera is perfect. But I really think if you got 2500 bucks or around that price point, this is the most well-rounded camera that you can buy. So with that being said, I did want to circle back to gear focus real quick. Make sure that y'all check that out. If you got used camera gear you want to sell, I should have put some lotion on. But if you got used camera gear you want to sell or buy, make sure you check out gear focus. It is a great marketplace to do that stuff on low fees a lot of protection built into it just a great all-around marketplace to be a part of so make sure you check it out at any rate i'm curious to know what y'all think about this camera you know all its flaws and all the things it's good at let me know down in the comment section i'm gonna be down there kicking it with y'all until next time i'm out of here so peace and chicken grease terry warfield peace